we're asked to solve some equations here, show them detailed reasoning. So first up, we've got this fractional, algebraic fractional one. Um, now we could multiply through by x plus 1, x plus 2, like straight away, but you might find it a little bit easier to first of all add the x minus 1 over x plus 2 to both sides. And then do some of what we call cross multiplying, which is essentially the same as timesing both sides by x plus 1 and x plus 2. So it ends up with x times x plus 2 equals x minus 1 times x plus 1. Very quickly before I carry on, what I, what I meant at the start as an alternative would be to basically times through by x plus 2 and x minus 1, which immediately gives you the same thing. Because when you times the left-hand term by x plus 1, it just cancels out there. And the right-hand term by x plus 2, it cancels out there. So you get... Get the same thing equal to zero, but anyway, let's keep going like I was doing originally. Okay, x squared plus 2x is going to equal x squared minus 1, because this is a difference of two squares. We get x squared plus x minus x minus 1. The x squares cancel, 2x is minus 1, so x is minus a half. On to the next one, b. Okay, we've got more fractions. Let's, let's deal with it. Let's get rid of the fractions. This time, definitely need to just times through by something right from the beginning. It's not, you, know, you can't really cross multiply as such because there's three terms. So I'm going to multiply through both sides by x to the 6. Therefore, the first term becomes 8 because they just cancel out. The second term, so x to the 6 and x to the 3 partially cancel, leaving us x to the 3. And then 1 times x to the 6 is x to the 6. And I've turned this into a hidden quadratic. Technically, we should say that x can't equal 0. That's not going to be a solution here anyway, though. So let's rearrange it to x to the 6 plus 7x cubed minus 8 equals 0. And you've got two choices now. You can either factorize for x cubed, or you can do a substitution, let u equal x cubed or something similar. I'm just going to go for x. Uh, so factorizing for x cubed. So just a normal factorizer now I'm going to need a plus 8 and a minus 1 to get the 7x cubed. And just to say if I let u equal x cubed then I would I would get u squared is x to the 6. So u squared plus 7u minus 8 is 0. And I factorize in a similar way find out u and then just replace that by x cubed to get exactly the same thing. x cubed has 1 or minus 8. So now I'm going to cube root both of them. Cube root 1, I just get 1. Cube root minus 8, I get minus 2. Alright, on to the last one. 3 power x squared minus 7 equals 1 over 243. Now x is in the exponent here, so you might be tempted to take logs. However, you don't need to. I will go through a method where there's logs involved. But a good shout is to first of all just see if 243 can be written as a power of 3, because that would make life easy. Easier, I should say. So 3, 3 squared, 3 cubed. Of course, you can do this in your calculator. 3 to the power of 4. 3 to the power of 5 is 243. Which means we can straight away write 3 to the power of x squared minus 7 is equal to 1 over 3 to the 5 or 3 to the minus 5. Now because the powers are the same, it must be that x squared minus 7 is equal to minus 5. The powers are simply equal, which means x squared is equal to 2 and therefore x is plus or minus the square root of 2. And I'm just going to leave it exact. And that's it. If you don't spot that, or if you just you know want like a method that will always work, well, when x is in the exponent, we can just take log. So we can do log to base 3 of both sides. And the left-hand side simply becomes x squared minus 7. You might also be able to get that just by your understanding of logs. So when you have things like log to base, I always remember this one, log to base 10 over 100 is 2. It's 10 to the power of 2, which is 100. So if I started with this, it would be um, log to base 10 
of 100 is 2. So I can, I can look at the power 1 and, and get that as well. It must be that log to base 3 of 1 over 243 is x squared minus 7. So that means x squared minus 7 is going to equal log to base 3, 1 over 243. Gets me like a minus 5. I didn't have to kind of figure it out like I did on the left. And then we're this exact same solution from here on. So two different methods. Um, yeah, well done, Madrid.